It's election day is November 5th and Congressman Seth Magaziner is hoping you will send him back to Washington DC. He joins me now live in studio. Thanks for being here. Great to be back. Thanks for having me. So Congressman 60 seconds or less. Why do you want Rhode Islanders to send you back to DC? Well, I have a real track record of fighting for working Rhode Islanders and delivering. When I was state treasurer, I led a school construction initiative that is building new schools all across the state. In Congress, I've been fighting to protect Social Security and Medicare and fundamental freedoms that have been under attack, like abortion rights. And I think it is important now more than ever that we have experienced people who know how to get things done and who have the interest of working people at heart. So that's the work that I have been doing for the last two years. Those same fights are still very important and will continue to be. And so I'm asking the voters to uh, send me to Congress for another term so that I can continue fighting for working people the way I have been for the last two years. What do you think is the single biggest issue facing the people of Rhode Island right now? The thing that I hear the most still is costs. Mm. And, you know, we've made some progress. Gas is back down below $3 a gallon. Like, that's good. But we still got a lot more work to do. And there's a few things that I want to focus on there. First, we got to crack down on price gouging. The big oil and gas companies made $100 billion of profits last year. That's out of the average working person's pocket going just to the big oil company's bottom line. So we've got to take a closer look at that. We need to bring more manufacturing back to the United States because if we make more here in America, not only does that create jobs, but it also means that we're not reliant on other parts of the world that may be unstable. And when something blows up elsewhere in the world, it can drive up prices. So those are some of the things that I'm focused on. Also expanding drug price negotiation under Medicare, which was a huge accomplishment of congressional Democrats in the Biden-Harris administration. Uh, we've got to not just protect drug price negotiation, but expand it so that all Americans can get access to uh, the drugs that they need at an affordable, uh, affordable cost. Your Republican opponent in this race, Stephen Corvey, who we had here on 12 News at 4 earlier this week, says Democrats have been in control too long here in Rhode Island. What's your pitch to Rhode Islanders to continue to send your party to Washington? Well, when Democrats had control in Washington and Democrats were the majority in Congress, uh, along with the Biden-Harris administration, we got enormous things done for the American people. We passed the bipartisan infrastructure bill, which is fixing roads and bridges all across the state of Rhode Island and replacing lead pipes. We passed the Inflation Reduction Act, which for the first time is letting drug companies, nego uh, Medicare negotiate with the drug companies and capping the cost of insulin. Passed the PACT Act to help expand veterans benefits, passed marriage equality, passed the first gun safety legislation through Congress in 30 years. And so when Democrats have been in charge in Washington, we've gotten big things done. That's why we need to get back into the majority uh, and elect Kamala Harris. And uh, I'm confident that if we do that, we will be able to go right back to delivering real results for the American people. We've got less than 30 seconds, and I want to touch briefly on a Target 12 investigation that revealed you haven't yet moved to the second district, which you represent, even though you pledged to do so during your campaign. Do you regret making that promise now? Well, as I said, uh, my wife and I bought a house in Cranston uh, that needs to be renovated. It's a bigger project than we expected, which is frustrating. In the meantime, we're just living a couple miles away, and it has not impacted my ability to do my job delivering for Rhode Island's second district at all. When I'm home from Washington, I am all over the district from Westerly to Burrillville, listening to voters and delivering. We've brought back millions of dollars of federal funding for local police departments in Cranston and Johnston and Warwick. We brought back funding for education. And so I'm continuing to fight for the people of my district every day, and that is unchanged. All right, we are out of time. Congressman Seth Magaziner, thanks for being here. Thank you. And as we mentioned, Congressman Magaziner is running against Stephen Corby, the GOP candidate in the race in the November 5th election, which is now just 11 days away.